MTN Foundation has handed over a 24-unit classroom block to the Tessano Police Depot cluster of schools. The facility was constructed at a cost of 3.5 million cities as part of MTN Ghana's corporate social initiative and will replace a dilapidated one. The police administration expressed gratitude to MTN and promised to put the facility to good use. My colleague Kwekwa Sante has more in the following report. It has been serving not only the children of police officials, but the Tesano and Abeka areas also. For years, the police depot cluster of schools has been in extremely bad shape. The classrooms were dilapidated and existing structures had no modern washrooms. But MTN Ghana has changed the story. Through its MTN Foundation, the company has handed over a brand new 24-unit classroom structure with modern facilities from kindergarten to junior high school. According to the CEO of MTN Ghana, Selom Adadivo, who handed over the facility to the police administration. This forms part of the efforts of MTN to help the societies within which they operate and hoped the facility will impact the results of the students. This facility is a 24-unit classroom block and contains a nursery, a kindergarten, a primary school department and a junior high school department with a student population of approximately 2,500. This was, con this was constructed at a cost of 3.4 million Ghana cities. But most importantly, it's refreshing for us and rewarding to see the smiles and the f on the faces of the children after waiting so long for this new facility to be completed. The new facility would ease the current pressure on the school and the students from the catchment area and will provide a more comfortable learning environment for teaching and learning. What will bring even more pride to us at MTN is if we see a massive improvement in the results of the children and their general well-being as a result of this investment. Speaking on behalf of the IGP, Director General in Charge of Services, COP George Alex Mensah expressed gratitude to MTN. He also assured that the police administration will put the facility to good use. I've had an earlier opportunity to inspect the facility and I can say with certainty that it has been properly structured to serve the intended purpose. I wish on behalf of the IGP and the entire police administration to express our profound gratitude to the management of MTN Foundation who funded this project. I urge all staff and management of this school to keep the edifice clean as we find it today and ensure that the facilities are well maintained effectively. And now let me promise that the police administration can assure the MTN that we will make sure that this facility is maintained. Delivering a keynote address, Minister for Communication and Digitalization, Esla Usu Ekufu, lauded the efforts of MTN to partner government to develop education infrastructure in the country. My information is that the MTN Foundation, in its 14 years of existence, has invested in 87 educational projects, in addition to your investments in health and economic empowerment. Indeed, I'm told that a few months ago, His Excellency the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, was in the northern region to inaugurate a 600-bed girls dormitory facility constructed by the MTN Foundation for the Tamale Senior High School. It is therefore in order for me to reiterate a statement made by His Excellency the President during the launch of your 25th anniversary in June this year. And I quote, you have become a model for emulation, unquote. Ably supporting government's efforts at providing needed infrastructure and services in various parts of the country. A year ago. The facility constructed at a cost of 3.5 million cities is one of MTN Foundation's many projects across the country built as part of its corporate social responsibility. And we'll take a break and bring you the very latest from the sports world.